Hello, Americans and Patriots. How you doing? Christian brothers, sisters alike. Well, today is Wednesday the 4th. I am sure that ridiculous bill has made it to Governor Newsom's desk. Have you ever heard? The California Assembly, followed by the California Senate, has approved of a ridiculous bill to give illegal immigrants up to $150,000 of taxpayer money to help illegal immigrants buy a home. They have no business buying because they're not here legally in the first place. On top of getting low rates and all kinds of all kinds of deals for a first time illegal immigrant home buyer. Meanwhile, if you are a California resident paying taxes, including a student in heavy debt because maybe you spent more money than you really want to for a degree that's not paying you that much, or maybe you filled for the con, I don't know. But soon, illegal immigrants will have a better chance of buying a home than you will. Now, if you want more proof of election fraud, here it is. How can bills like this keep on getting passed in favor of illegals? It's because elections are stolen. Because I'm sorry. Most leftists who live in California are not liking this. The same ones that couldn't get their student loans paid off. The same California government that has stiffed a lot of residents on reparations, which I'm totally against. But hey. The brown people coming to this country illegally, which some of you might have voted for, but I have a hard time believing that any of you people voted for, are getting the sweetheart deals. Maybe when they made reparations, this is what they really meant. They just tell you to fine print, or they left it out until, hey, you have to pass the bill in order to read the bill. Does that sound familiar? Nancy Pelosi also from California, but she's on a federal level. Meanwhile, in here, in my home state of New York, an aide to both former Governor Andrew Cuomo and current Governor Kathy Hochul has found to be a Chinese spy. Now, it shouldn't shock you that this is all coming from uh, New York to California because our buddy number, number 17 have told us many times, looked to New York and California about the corruption that's going everywhere in the country. Those two states were going to try to lead other states or be the example for other states of what the left on the federal level wanted for the rest of the states. Of course, you remember Diane Feinstein, who's gone, had a Chinese spy for a driver. And of course, Eric Fartman Stolwell, Swalwell, sorry, Swalwell, Mr. Fartgate himself, had a Chinese lover. And these are the people we do know about. So now we're about, I think we got 62, 63 days to election day. Let me see, today is the 4th. Uh, 62 days to election day. Remember this. And in six more days, we will have a debate, which Kamala Harris is desperately trying to get out of and or change the rules, even though the rules are in her favor, on a network that favors her. What does this tell you about Kamala Harris? Because if you saw the first interview with Dina Rash on CNN, that was a disaster. More word salads, more flip-flopping. Especially about the light. I've not changed my values, but we don't know what her values are because now she's adopting all the Trump policies, well, not all the Trump policies, but a lot of the Trump policies to say what she needs to say to try to get elected. And... One of the questions that Dana Rash admitted was basically blaming her and her minist- the Biden administration for the 
pounds in our economy, to which Kamala Harris, I think, without even really thinking, because she can't cover all the lies, said, yep, the economy is terrible, even though Bionomics is working, and prices are high and everything. Well, Democrats, I know you guys didn't want this clown. I mean, there'll always be diehards that will root for because, one, they're Democrat or they're a hardcore Marxist or Maoist through and through, or maybe you're just another Trumper because you hate Trump because the TV told you to. And this goes for highly educated millionaires and billionaires as well that do the same thing. You have a woman that slipped away to the top. Willie Brown helped her get that campaign for DA. Really had no one oppose her. Really had no one oppose her for the California AG spot. So she's never been challenged in anything before. And the one time she was challenged, she finished dead last. 10 out of 10 candidates. She fell out of the Democrat primary. Couldn't even make it to Iowa. Couldn't even make it to the election year, if I remember right. And then was given the VP spot because that was Obama's girl who's having buyer's remorse right now. And was given the nomination of to be President of the United States because she didn't have to run. And it shows. When you were handed everything because one, it's been given to you or you slept your way to get to that position. This is the result of everything you're seeing now. Now, of course, yesterday the stock market took a 600-point plunge. Uh, overall, it has still done well. But we all know why. When you print money to back it up like there's no tomorrow, even after you said there's a million jobs less than what you thought to be, and now Goldman Sachs is telling people you're better off buying precious metals, the same people who said, the stock market's way to go. They're telling you to buy precious metals. There's another warning sign for you. And of course, as I'm reading you, they're starting to start to do the narrative now. If, if, if Donald Trump takes over, the economy crash and the stock market will crash, which I've been telling you, one, well, it's going to crash anyway, but they may let Donald Trump win the election despite cheating. And blame everything on him and try to start rights that way. Or do the old Russian collusion, Chinese collusion to try to get him out. Even though Biden and Harris are the ones in charge safeguarding the elections. So, when Trump was in office, actually when, when Obama was in office, it was stolen from Hillary Clinton. But no one wanted to ban Barack Obama. When Trump lost, well, I'm sure he had it stolen from Biden, everyone said these were the most secure elections ever in our time. So I guess they would have to also thank Donald Trump for that. And if it happens again, where the election gets stolen or they can't win, they'll call it Russian collusion or Chinese collusion. And they won't blame Biden, even though he's in office, to safeguard the elections. Folks, be prepared. It's after Labor Day now. We're 62 days away. It's going to get more intense. Comments down below what your opinion like to know. Keep the country in prayer. We'll talk to you later.